with a longer spindle, I could then switch to what I call a bow drill position. Which is basically, like in a bow drill, you put one, you're kneeling like this. And so with this, this is a lot more comfortable for me. Can't see me. I will move the camera back. This is a lot more comfortable for me. And I can put a lot more um, energy into this. So for me, this is a much comfier position. So my foot here is anchoring half forward. I've got a nice long spindle. This is quite smooth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spit on my hands to give it a little bit of friction. So, stickiness. So then, I'm going to just simply, so I don't do what people call floating hands, um, it's not for me. So I just run my hands down. And the advantage of a longer spindle is as you move your hands, your hands are going to move down the spindle. So with a longer spindle, your hands will move further down until you've got to go to the top. With a shorter spindle, you're constantly having to go up. So you keep stopping and you're not keeping that constant um, friction going. Um, so with a longer spindle, you can keep that going longer. Obviously when you change direction, the spindle's gonna momentarily say stop, stop and change direction. So that's where you got why you want to try and use as much of your hand as possible. So, Let's see. The further you run your hands down, the better really. <laughs> Go. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Sastra Fire. <laughs> 